So the very first thing that we are going to discuss is the thermionic emissions and the factors affecting the thermionic emissions. So what is thermionic emissions and how, why it occurs and uh, how to make it uh, faster. Factors affecting means factors affecting the rate of thermionic emission. R rate of thermionic emission means how fast the electrons is released. Eh? Uh, after the thermionic emissions, then we will proceed to cathode ray. We will discuss how cathode ray is produced and then uh, the experiments that we use to investigate the characteristics of the cathode ray. Uh, we use Maltese cross tube and the deflection tube to investigate the characteristics of uh, cathode ray. Eh? Okay. So from these two experiments, then we have the characteristics of the cathode ray. And after the cathode ray, then we will proceed to cathode ray oscilloscope, where we will discuss the structures of the cathode ray oscilloscope, the electron gans, the deflecting system, and the fluorescent screen. And we will also discuss how to use this cathode ray oscilloscope, okay, how to control the brightness, what is the X shift or Y shift, X gain, Y gain time base okay and other things okay so how to use this uh cathode ray oscilloscope and how to analyze the result displays on the screen how to read it you have a result so how to analyze it and how to read it uh, so that is under using cathode ray oscilloscope so that is what i'll be going to discuss under cathode ray oscilloscope and today i think uh, we will discuss the muonic emission cathode ray and maybe the structures of cathode ray oscilloscope for using cathode ray oscilloscope we will discuss it next week huh? and let's have a look at the notes so uh, this is under electronic one we will start from uh, thermionic emissions factors affecting the rate of thermionic emissions uh, thermionic diode, we'll discuss a little bit about thermionic diode. Um, after that is the structure, uh, uh, okay, electron gun first, okay, electron gun, because we use electron gun to produce cathode ray, yeah? so I'll explain to you what is the electron gun, and then so, uh, the two experiments that we use to investigate the properties of the cathode ray, and after that is the cathode ray oscilloscope, this is the structure, of the cathode ray oscilloscope. So we will discuss uh, what are the functions of each of this uh, part in this uh, cathode ray oscilloscope. So we we'll discuss this one by one. After that is uh, using cathode ray oscilloscope. So we have a lot of button here. So what's the use of this button? So we will discuss them one by one. And then, so, okay. So, uh, uses of a cathode ray oscilloscope okay we use it to measure voltage and then uh, okay so how to analyze okay uh, how to analyze the display okay how to use it to measure voltage and how to analyze it huh? 